guys, it's Curtis Webb back in the shop with the Crossfire XR plasma table and the new PowerMax 65 sync plasma cutter. Um, today we're going to be doing our first 16 gauge monogram sign with the new PowerMax 65 sync. Uh, we're using the 30 amp fine cut consumables on this. We're going to have 150 inches a minute. We are piercing at 0.14 and we're cutting at 0.1. Uh, this is something I'm trying new. Um, it's not book settings, it's slightly modified. So you let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see how it turns out in the results. So check it out. Okay guys, I think that turned out pretty well. Um, so I had a 0.2 second pierce delay on that. 150 inches a minute, 35 amps. Um, 30 amp fine cut consumables using the Hypertherm Parmax 65 sink. Also have the Harbor Freight dryer on there. Again, this is the Crossfire XR 4x8 plasma table using the fire control here. I really like this system. Um, something so simple, just whenever you get your sheet on the table, figure out what size you have. It's real easy to flip it 90 degrees. I did that on this one, just go down to scale and rotate. You know, it's great, great system, really like it. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment in the comment section. Um, and if you haven't done it already, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll keep posting more videos. We're gonna do some more videos on this PowerMax 65 sync. Um, I want to get a video out that has something for just about every thickness of metal. So if you guys want to see something, let me know. Thanks a lot. So here's the 16 gauge monogram sign. All I did was blow it off with air and that's it. Um, this is the back side. Let me zoom in and you can see the amount of dross that's left on here. So this was done at 150 inches a minute, um, piercing at 0.14, cutting at 0.1, uh, 0.2 second pierce delay at 35 amps with the fine cut consumables on the PowerMax 65 sink. What are your guys' optimal settings for 16 gauge hot rolled? Do you guys have the same setup? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done it already, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll keep on posting more videos as I fine tune this machine and get the optimal settings. Um, this is a improvement from the razor cut that I was using before. Um, I used to spend a ton of time knocking drouse off with the wire cup wheel. This is pretty minimal in my opinion. I think all this will knock off pretty darn fast. I won't have to use a chisel or anything. Just the wire cup will get it. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. You got any ideas for me? Hit me up in the comments. Thanks a lot.